Venturing onto your PC and checking out Steam, you're going to find a ton of games out there. There are so many games that a lot of people will skip over. There's so many coming out on an almost daily basis. But there's always there's few little hidden gems that are kind of sneaking through the cracks that you should definitely get a look at. One of which in particular is Blitzbreaker that just hit Steam this week. And if you're a fan of the likes of Super Meat Boy, this game will definitely be up your alley. Blitzbreaker is a pixel platformer, but you're unable to actually move as your character. You can only dash forward. While dashing forward with your character, you can't change directions until you end up landing on a solid surface. This kind of key gameplay leads to a ton of different puzzle potentials and lots of different hazards that get added amongst the various different levels as you play through. The game has really no storyline to it. You're playing as a small little pixel-based character who seems to be escaping a factory. Your goal through each of the levels is to kind of dash your way through, picking up coins and other collectibles, and eventually making it to the warp at the end to move on to the next stage. Blitzbreaker is split up into multiple different worlds for you to go through, broken up into multiple stages, and each stage is pretty much broken up into multiple mini-levels, with you trying to figure out what exactly is going on, and you end up getting a star or not get a star, depending upon how well you did in a particular level. Not getting collectibles or taking too long will unfortunately not net you that star. So there's definitely incentive to try your hardest and just try to go out of your way to get that one coin or collectible that you didn't grab in order to try to get a higher score. The precision that's required in the game is quite precise. A lot of times you will find yourself dashing forward and just barely missing a spike or other hazard by the skin of your teeth. But by that same skin, you may end up doing another dash forward and end up losing your life. Fans of Super Meat Boy will feel right at home, but the difference is in that game, of course, you're able to control and move your character around, whereas Blitzbreaker, the only kind of movement you can do is a small jump besides your dash. So you have to kind of puzzle solve using that little tiny jump and, of course, your dash that will send you flying towards any object that's ahead of you in order to figure out how to get through the various different levels and find where the exit is located. This is one of those games that's always changing up, adding new various elements to the levels so you can never feel safe or comfortable with the controls or how you can go through the various levels. Even once you get farther in, you may kind of find yourself doing a lot of like buzzsaw or missile launcher style levels, but then something from a much earlier level re comes back and rears its ugly head and you'll have to figure out how to get past it. You have all kinds of hazards, not just those spikes, but your homing missiles and buzzsaws. You'll have to use magnetic platforms to kind of guide your character and either jump off of it in order to kind of get to where you need to go or ride it to a certain point or wait for a certain object to go away. Also thrown in are some really intense boss fights, some of which you're actually going to get to attack the boss and other ones you're just running away. But all these fights end up making really intense moments and when you finally get the upper hand and get past or defeat one of these bosses, it definitely feels satisfying. Well, in the graphics department, it's nothing really spectacular. It's kind of that pixel feel. You're seeing it in a ton of games nowadays, and it's kind of getting overplayed. But one thing about this game in particular, maybe it's the way I had it set up in my window on my computer, but it kind of reminded me of a Game Boy game. Like, maybe a Super Game Boy game. It had already kind of a border set up to it, which was to make sure that it kind of stayed within its aspect ratio, but just kind of the color scheme a lot of times, and just the way it was set up, just reminded me of something that would have been a lot of fun to play on my Game Boy on long road trips. The soundtrack in the game is one of its best elements, and I think there's a lot of fun to have with the gameplay, so that's definitely saying something. The composer did a fantastic job with the various chiptune-style music that plays. Particularly, World 2-1 was definitely one of my favorite tracks. I want to listen to a lot of this soundtrack outside of the game to kind of get even more of a feel to it, so definitely kudos to the composer for that. Now, this game is not perfect, though. I ran into slowdown, which 
felt weird in a game like this. It definitely wasn't a computer issue, and I have seen some other people have run into the same similar issue. Now, this did actually end up helping me a couple of times, because being slowed down, you'll have more time to react to things, but it definitely took away some of that bits of challenge. Though usually I would wait for the game to kind of catch up with itself and then continue on, because I didn't want to lose that element of challenge, because it does feel satisfying to complete each of the stages throughout Blitz Breaker. The game isn't exceptionally long, but there's a good amount of levels, and of course, trying to get those stars and just get every object un unlockable. And there's a few unlockables to get, including various different heads for your pixel character. So there's a good amount of stuff there for you to go through the levels multiple times to make sure that you're able to grab everything. Overall, this is a fun game, and I know it's maybe not anything that stands out as something completely original in this day and age, but if you're a fan of these particular style of games, I think you will definitely enjoy it. Overall, I'm giving Blitzbreaker a 7 out of 10, and I can definitely recommend checking it out. It's available for $2.99 currently on Steam, and it does have Steam achievements, though I didn't see Steam trading cards for those who are into that sort of thing. But that will wrap up this review of Blitzbreaker for the PC. I'd like to thank you for watching, and of course, I hope you enjoyed.